Hi everyone, uh, my name is Jacob Adams. I'm a fitness and leadership coach. I'm here with Joey. Uh, Joey, you want to tell little people about what you do? All right, well, my name is Joey. I work at Pizza. I've been trying to get in shape. I, I work at a restaurant, so it's really kind of hard to stay in shape, free food, free pizza, you know. Wow, uh, yeah. the devil's lair. The devil's lair, pretty much. <laughs> you try to get fit, you don't eat, you come to work, it's like, oh, free food, oh, I'll make a pizza. Yeah, I mean, I, I would stuffed crust is one of my favorites. Okay. Do you like stuffed crust? Nah, I personally just like thin crispies or hand tossed regular. <laughs> yeah. Right on, man. Right on. So he's not a big fan of stuffed crust. Okay, cool. And so you know, you're joining a gym. You told us to, uh, we were here at a, a mixer, uh, net networking, meeting people, other people, talking about supplements. I've met you three or four times, right? This yeah. will be our fourth time, I think. Yeah, third, third or fourth, something like that. Um, you know, you've been thinking about doing the 2040 challenge for a while. Yeah. Things haven't been always worked out in the timing, right? Yeah. And today, you know, we're gonna make it so that you can do get started at least on the 10 days, right? And we're gonna we're gonna get you on the 2040 challenge. And we will. Yeah. Right. We will. Yeah. And uh, you know, the Planet Fitness. We, what, what are some of the stuff we were talking about today? Before we get into what are some of the stuff today that we talked about in the mixer? Like, oh, yeah. Like, um, I compare the way that the workout goes through, like uh, everything that's gonna go through with the way I'm gonna start working out is like a Dragon Ball Z. Uh, I mean, y'all think of it as an anime cartoon, whatever, but I see Goku, the way he's ripped and everything, and I want to get to that level, even though he's just a, you know, a fan fiction character, like, he has to go through several steps before he goes to his ultimate level, and even when he reaches his ultimate level, he still wants someone to compete with him, someone to achieve higher than what he is at, so that's what I want, I want to be able to, you know, hit, I, I weigh 130, I want to be able to hit 140, 160, and maybe catch up with these guys and hit 185. Right on. So you want to put on like 30 pounds of lean tissue. Yeah. That's a legit goal. I mean, I started training, what, like 18 years? Out of, so it's been a while, man. And uh, one of my decisions, uh, I was told by one of the girls that I wrote poetry for, you know, it'd be like with, this, with a pen just like this, write poetry, and she told me I had small calves. I felt like so inadequate, you know. I ended up getting her. I ended up she being my girlfriend for a while. We both worked out. So I know what it's like to want to put on some lean tissue. So I congratulate you on that, you know, to make the decision. You just joining a gym tomorrow, right? Yeah, I'm gonna start joining. I've been going, you know, gyms here and there, but like for sure tomorrow is when I join a legit gym where it's not me going on my friends. Uh, my friend will bring me over with him. It's me going on my own gym whenever I want, whenever I can. Not when someone's like, "Hey, I can't bring you today, but you can come tomorrow." And yeah, that's great, man. And and so we're here at the beginning of your journey. This commitment to say, yeah. "I'm gonna do something for myself. I'm gonna invest in myself. I'm gonna do what I gotta do." So we talked about the concept of. Believing, what's what comes after believing? Believe, begin, and become. Yeah, I was telling. We were talking about, what, and what did we talk about? These concepts of as far as believe, begin, become. What did we talk about? Well, in order to you know start with believing, you gotta have that self esteem, that that self control. When once you believe in that, then you start begi um, beginning to show your results. And then by the end of the results, you become what what you wanted to become. You got to set that mindset. You got to start with the believe to become the become. And of course, there's a, the beginning process, which you don't start from the top right away. You got to start from the bottom. Like, man, I th I think it's awesome. And one one thing that I love about making this a video is I often look at the videos I make and the things I teach to people. And I was telling you how this was a really challenging week for me, and I have to look at my own lessons to to master them, to say, you know what? As much as I know them, we can always go back to the mastery of these simple concepts of believing, beginning, becoming. And we'll love that, that this, is, this is alive, you know, you're gonna get a copy of this video, you'll have it on YouTube, is that you can see yourself in 24 days, in 30 days, in 60 days, in 90 days, in a year, two years, five, and, and see what you right now verbalize with your own words, making complete sense of yourself and see how far you've come and see what you forgot and see what you can improve. So that's, that, and that's called personal growth. Is that pretty yeah. cool? Yep. Pretty cool. Yeah, so, and so what are you looking to do, you know, with the 24 challenge, what's your, what's your big goal in the 24 days? What's your goal? Well, like, um, I wanna be able to clean my body out. Like right now, I mean, uh, right now I, I weigh 130, but it's, I can say like most of it's fat. So first off, I wanna be able to turn that into like muscle, mass, instead of just having it there as fat. Once I get through with that, then I want to be able to add more to that and actually have uh, muscle to show, not just the fat. Like when they say that your, your gut is bigger than your chest, when your gut stands up more than your chest, that's when you need to do something. I don't mean, and I just saw you look at your gut, but uh, I mean, that's what my, my friend told me. He's pretty like, you know, ripped himself. So that's what I want to get to at that point where my chest 
about someone in my gut. And that's, you know, being a small guy, like you can see the, the gut more than the chest. So in order to stand out being amongst the short people, you know, being ripped is the way to stand out. So you, so you say, I, I like it. I like it. I, I think it's pretty cool that you got your own understanding of what you need to do for yourself. And like you said, you have, what is his name? The Dragon Ball Z guy, what's his name? Goku. Yeah. Okay, because I'm not a big, I'm, you know, so I think that's pretty cool that you have an understanding. And it's funny that I was telling Joey, he's like, I feel he has a lot of potential because, yeah, like some people may think it's just, you know, Goku. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool to have that relationship to understand, like, these, like, it might seem boring to people, but these begin to come, but he has a, a very uh, fun connection with Goku. So, I really see a lot of power in that, believe it or not. So I, can, I congratulate him for understanding these concepts on, in, his own, in his own way. And I think his goals are great, you know, 30 pounds. And I think that can take you, that could take you all of 2017 to get 30 pounds of lean tissue. It, it might even take a year and a half. As long as the results are there, by the long run, uh, it doesn't matter how long it takes. I mean, it, everything takes time. It doesn't just happen in the blink of an eye. Right. That's a great attitude. Great attitude. And I think you're going to do great with the 24 day challenge. So the, in the 24 days, you're saying just trim down, get that midsection leaner, yeah. and start getting some more muscle. Pretty much. Okay. And so in 2018, you're 30 pounds heavier. By 2018, you want to put that as your goal, or you want to go for 20 pounds, or what? By 2018, the ideal outcome, it's January 2018, what's the ideal outcome? I just want to be able to, I don't really have a limit, like if, if this is just to get to my goal to get to right now, but if I'm able to get to a higher goal, like, like, you know, like Goku does, he, once he's get a limit, he wants to see another limit beyond that limit, and maybe, you never know, like if I get to the 160, then I get to the 190, but it's all mass and muscle, and so be it, that's what I'm going to go to. I love it, I love it. Uh, any any words because you've been thinking about it you know for a while and we're gonna do everything you can to get you going tomorrow or right, to get started with your challenge on Monday any last words or any final thoughts for someone watching that might be thinking about doing a 2040 challenge you know in the future I'm sure you'll inspire someone else to do it too um, you know get rolling like you like any words to them watching that might be on the fence you know encouragement anything you want to say to them well, all I gotta say is it took me six months, you know, I'm burning on a start tomorrow and it took me six months to where I'm at for my financial status. But like I, like um, he's put it, Jacob put it, you know, you gotta spend money to make money. Sometimes, you know, you gotta, you gotta take that risk. Life's about taking risk. If you don't take that risk, then you're not living life. Right, so. right. And I, yeah, he hit it on the head. If you, were, if you stay on the sidelines just watching life go by, you can't engage in anything. Risk, taking a positive risk is where life gets good because it's it's that moment where you're like, ah, oh, what's 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 out there for me? So, yeah. thank you, Joey. It's been awesome. Thank um, you for having me on the show. Yeah, yeah. And I'll send you the link here and uh, subscribe, share with your friends, Joey, share with your friends, whatever you want. And we'll see you next time. And we'll we'll be giving you an update on Joey's progress on day 25 or 26 next time. We'll see you next time. See you next time. Yep. Peace out.